dollars, that would be great, but there is a, a cost benefit of not having that kind of um, space. And so one of the ideas of, of moving the station and one of the benefits of this building is that it did offer that. So I just I also want to uh, provide that. There were also some unexpected costs in it, and there was also um, Sure, it has the the dollar amount impact on the community is matches what trustee event is saying. Although the overall value and again all the issues that we've had, it, um, there is a cost benefit there too. Trustee Moore. So just so I'm clear as to, to what we're deciding. So if we don't approve this as 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 is presented to us at one point one million. There's no opportunity to go back and get even more concrete pricing or possibly cheaper alternatives prior to next year. What are you asking? Either. I'm asking. I, I'm asking. I'm asking. Well, so we, our we, interest is 1.1 million dollars now. Or we lay, everything lays over until next year, or can we say, well, we, we don't want to go to 1.1 million dollars now. We'd like a little bit more of a study. We'd like to know if there are cheaper alternatives. Right, well, we've got, well, I don't know, I'm going to make this four to five million dollars of projects committed and underway right now that we haven't borrowed money for to pay. Mm -hmm. That needs to happen in a very short and compressed time frame. Um, one of the things that we've always tried to do to keep our bonding costs down is to issue bonds only every other year. So we wait until our projects are kind of started, bond for them about the same time we expect to start needing to pay out significant money in 18, and then also bond for our 19 projects, our odd year projects, uh, so that we're not borrowing too far in advance for those and we're keeping our interest costs down and we're keeping our bonding costs down from not having to issue bonds every Which year. Which is 20000 about, right, for a bond issuing cost? I was thinking it's somewhere between forty and 60000 Oh, because I thought you said twenty and thirty. dollars um, Depending on the size of the bond? But there's, and again, I we had a brief correspondence over here today about uh, uh, that specific topic. Now, there's nothing magical that says if you don't want to proceed with this project, you can't bond for it at such time that you want to proceed for that project. Like the fire station. Like the fire station, it's the same, same thing. It's just a matter of implementation, planning, and, and really what level the board feels comfortable with so that we can move forward with those projects and then also prepare the proper documents for the board to act on to uh, get the bond sale underway uh, in the next few weeks. Um, so, so just here's my, my concern. This is, to me, out of the blue, like we, we usually have more information proceeding making this decision. Um, we went from like a 5,500 square foot facility for the police, that's what they utilized, to 25,000 square feet. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to see the design of the garage and what, how big of a space it's needed of that 25,000. I know there's a general box, you know, like, but I, we just haven't further, this is the first time the board's talking in, in detail about a high level cost based on a design that I haven't seen. So to Trustee Amenta's point and Trustee Warren's, or Trustee Carpenter, I'm sorry, I think I didn't yours. Uh, there's a way, I believe, that the community room has shrank over time. And if we, if we need the money because we are significantly over budget, we could always lease out some space. And so my, my concern is without seeing how much is absolutely necessary for the garage and how much we could utilize for space to lease or whatever we may need, I just want
want to understand that better before, I mean, look how much detail we want on the fire station before we go to just make a decision. I just, I don't even, I don't know enough. I don't feel like I know enough because the space is so large for, for the police needs that were much smaller. So I just, I want to understand that a little better. Trustee Mark? Um, I don't, um, I feel like probably the be best part, the better part of Valor is to um, come back to this issue next year um, because to try to clear up all the statements that are being made here on the fly, that, you know, some of which line up to what my experience has been and some have not, um, I don't think does the does the um, matter justice? If that helps, I just, clearly there's just not enough right in front of us. Well, I'm just yeah, I'll just make a motion to approve the 2019 capital projects, alley reconstruction, PPII lateral replacement program, streetlight control box program, water relay projects, and Downer Avenue meter pet. To move forward in 2019. Yeah. Uh, so we have a motion on the floor. Do you want to read it? Trustee meant to move to approve the alley reconstruction, PPI letter replacement program, street light control box program, water media project, and Downer Avenue meter pit in 2019. So we have a motion on the floor. Any second? <coughs> Trustee Carpenter seconds. Any discussion? Uh, just you are. The DPW facilities, what's the step is deferred? Um, is the engineering moving forward or what's going on? Um, one of the, the initiatives that our department submitted was a request that you consider an architectural study. Um, I have some concerns about the facility study, um, both from a cost estimate standpoint, but also from a feasibility study on the, the installation and construction of that retaining wall. And as you may recall, everything we do hinges on a solid, well-built retaining wall. Um, and so I, I just, I think that is such a key piece of that moving forward that, that I would, um, so I guess the way that I would look at it is when we do an alley reconstruction program or street reconstruction program, we do engineering one year, construction the next. Um, I, I really want to be sure that we know exactly what will be involved in the construction of that retaining wall. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, that initiative almost proposed a pre-engineering study on the wall. Okay. Um, and in light of that, and, and you know, being respectful of the discussion that that was had earlier, um, we we kind of looked at deferring the next step um, until such time that the board you know, considers that pre-engineering study. So did, we are not going to consider the pre-engineering study for 2019. Didn't sound that way. No. <laughs> how how well is that retained wall? Well? Well, it's actually a series of retaining walls. Okay. The village owns the portion, the the, um, sh the the lowest and shortest portion. The rest are all individually owned, constructed, and not maintained by the, the property owners to the east. Okay. Can I ask a question? Does the retaining wall have to be redone regardless of whether we kept all the buildings and preserved them with a similar architect to the fire station? So I, I just got to read that plan. Or if we tore them down and built new. Well, it's a bit of yes to both. Okay. But what was really driving that was the recognition that because we have such a small footprint there, um, that to maximize that space, we need to have those buildings right on the property line. And in order to do that, we have to have a, um, a structurally sound retaining wall, which we don't know, but yeah, we don't. Rehab or new? Um, I think it's less critical for rehab, um, unless 
you define rehab as expansion of existing domain. Okay. Christopher, um, I just want to clarify on the motion. So the, we are taking out that other option as well. There's an other on the agenda. Which is the other? It just says other. It's a more of this. Yeah. There's no motion. Uh, okay. They're kind of all going to be listed separately. Okay. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just going to say the agenda is was laid out that these motions would be considered separately instead of combined okay. with the opportunity, and I don't see a problem with them being combined, but yeah. with the opportunity then for the board, if they had gotten to a place where they wanted to recommend some additional project that at least it was properly identified. Yes. Thank you. And to clarify, I did not know this, but the salt shed that we budgeted for and now we are deciding not, we've, we've defeat, not to feed the bonds, but we've, we're utilizing those funding as part of this to offset our bonding, instead of an increase in bonding costs, we're utilizing those funds to decrease our 2018-19 bonding. Right. Any residual bond proceeds from the 2016 bond, from a very, from whatever source, uh, will be applied against the bonding requirements needed to execute these projects as well as the 2018 projects. I think it's just important because that's the one that we had talked about, what we bonded for it, and we deferred that two years. So just know that that money is being utilized. So are Just we not are we not doing the salt shed anymore? That's um, it became apparent that that the estimate that was included in that facility study was not adequate mm -hmm. to reconstruct the salt shed on the current site. Um, so that combined with some pretty heavy um, years of construction and, and staff time on other projects it limited our ability to get really creative about what we might be able to do with that funding on the current site, considering we still had to maintain storage of the salt on our site. Um, so um, with the funding that was available, we couldn't rebuild the shed. Was it a funding? Every year we've been told it was just that the salt was there. We filled it up and we couldn't. Well, the, the first year that was the issue. And then as we dug into it, um, we, we could have looked at places to store the salt temporarily and bring it back. Um, but it became apparent as we started talking to um, contractors and industry professionals that we weren't going to be able to rebuild that shed for the money that had been budgeted. And that was budgeted and bonded based on that initial facility study and the, the cost estimate in that study. So if the re retaining wall and the, sorry, Justin, the retaining wall and the um, salt shed are, do we need a new facility study? Or would that be something you'd recommend to us? I think we need, I would recommend that we need updated cost figures. I think the, the basis of the facility study is sound. Um, the, the space needs analysis, that, that component of the study, I, I, I wouldn't expect would change with a different architect. Um, but like I said, I have some reservations, particularly based on our experience with the, the um, cost estimate on the salt shed, as to um, you know, the soundness of the rest of them moving forward. Hence the request for the architectural study. I just going to suggest that we defer further discussion of um, items yeah. when, when we're in a more comprehensive place and focus on the uh, motion. So would that be during the moment? I don't know about it's not in the motion tonight. <laughs> Article, definite article instead of proposition. Okay, thank you. 
I thought it was two. All right, there's a second. Can we vote on call? Yep. Yeah. So there's a motion and a second. All in favor? Wait, we vote on the call in yeah. the question part? Yeah. Oh, so there's a motion to call the question. Is there a second? Second. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries 7 0. Now there's a motion on the table and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Thank you. Oh, I thought she had to say the next item because he was going to do it. Oh, oh huh? <laughs> okay. so, thanks a lot, guys. Why did you know you were observing the motion? Was <laughs> so, is there any other, just so I'm aware before motion to adjourn, is there anything else you wanted us to discuss? It looks like we covered them all. Well, I'm satisfied I can prepare the bond documents. Good. Okay, so we have a motion to adjourn. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm here. And a second. Okay, so we have a motion to turn.